Okay, so we're in Microsoft Excel and we want to calculate length of service. Got two functions that will do this for us, year frac and date diff. Year frac is the simplest to use and great if you just want to calculate the number of years. If you want years, months and days, then use date diff. Let's start with year frac. Two mandatory arguments, start date and end date. That would be today's date. The today function will return today's date and keep it up to date. And then basis, which is a non-mandatory argument, get these options here. So you can see that you can treat each month as a 30-day month, which gives you a 360-day year. Or what we're going to use is actual, actual, which will use the actual number of days in each month, depending on the year. For example, if you have a leap year, it will know that February has 29 days. So if I copy that down, now if I want to return integer values, I can put this formula within the int function, and that will give me the number of years service. Now date diff can also do that calculation. You won't find date diff in the IntelliSense list, but you'd start with your start date and your end date, so exactly the same as year frac, but then in the next argument, you state what you want to do the calculation on. For example, years, months, or days. So if we said years there, it gives me exactly the same answers as we had with the year frac function. But I can also add the number of months to the calculation. And what I'm going to do is copy this. And I'm going to concatenate the result of that date diff function with the word years. Need a space on either side of years. Need to go in quotation marks whenever you have text in a formula. And then I'm going to concatenate that with the next date diff function. But this time I want to return the number of months. So what I do is I say YM. And then I would concatenate that with space months. I press enter. You can see I get 21 years, two months. And then I can also add the days, same idea. So I concatenate that with the today function again. And to return the days, you'd put MD. And then I'd concatenate that with the word days. Copy it down. It does it for the rest of the members of staff. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.